What's going on, you all? This is Brother D here, coming back at you with another edition of the Brother D Show podcast. And on today's show, we will be talking from the subject, no self-sabotage. No self-sabotage. You know, we've gone through, um, you know, we've had different things that have happened to us and, and for us in the sense of certain opportunities that, that have come our way, right? We've gone through certain doors or certain was just, you know, just just uh, gone through certain potential doors and we could have gotten to, to, to the place where we felt as though I don't belong in this brand new door. I don't belong here. And when you begin to feel like you don't belong somewhere, when you begin to feel self-doubt, what happens is you can then revert back. And then what happens is you run away or you walk away from the opportunity that was presented to you. And this could be due to feeling as though uh, you're not good enough or you're not smart enough. You don't have what it takes to really um, grab the bull by the horns and say, "Okay, I got this brand new opportunity. For example... You can walk into um, an opportunity of a lifetime, whether it be uh, a new singing career, whether it be uh, you, whether you play music and somebody calls you and says, I want you to travel with me across the country, being my uh, being one of my musicians or singers, whatever it is, you have to think like, OK, a certain major door can open for you. But then you might feel like I'm not good enough. I don't have what it takes. I'm not qualified for the position. I'm not qualified for the for the promotion. And we all run into that. And it can be caused by self-doubt. It can be caused from a place of uh, you not being familiar with anybody else in your family or in your uh, your friends and your, your friendship circle. It you know anybody in that space in that sphere of influence, you might think that hey I'm not I'm not good enough or I've never seen anybody that that's close to me go through that specific specific door and win. You could be the first person to uh, to have a golden opportunity, but you could talk yourself out of it because. You're scared and you're fearful. Doubt begins to arise in it and different feelings of um, anxiety might rise. All these things are normal when you begin to embark upon something new. But what I want you to understand is that. You don't have to stay where, where you are. You don't have to stay there. Because sometimes people might complain about their current situation. But when certain opportunities open up, they they might shrink back because it's all brand new. And of course, with anything that is brand new, that's foreign to you, you're going to have fears and you're going to have doubts and you're going to feel like, oh, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And and all these different thoughts might run through your head. But you have to come to a point where you say, you know what? I've gone through a lot. I need to go and make my life better. Not just for myself, but for those that are connected to me. I have to do something. Some people might feel like your back is up against the wall listening to this show right now. And you might say, you know what? I have to do what's right. I have to do uh, what's in my heart to do. I have to do what I'm what I'm passionate, passionate about. I have to... Uh, take advantage of what presents itself to me now. As long as I know that I'm called to it, I got a passion for it, let's go. It might be bigger than what you thought. It might have more responsibility than what you thought. But you have to make the conscious decision that you're going to move forward because some people might feel like so much time has been taken from them. You might be one of those people. You might feel like so much time has gotten away from you. 
and you're looking for a way out, you're looking for a way up. But I want you to know that you cannot sabotage yourself anymore. If you, you've done it in the past, the past is just what it is. It's the past. But you cannot do it to yourself anymore. Think about it like this, right? For the most part, we can uh, we can remember when it was the early 2000s, the new millennium. Now we look at our calendar and, and one minute it was 2002. Now we're in 2022. And then you sit back and you think about that and you're like, wow, that was 20 years ago. So think about the time that has passed by and think about uh, the, the current uh, time that, that you're in now. What are you going to do with that time? Are you going to stay where you are or are you going to move forward and, and, and move out of your comfort zone and step into something new that could potentially change your life? So I just want to leave you with that. But also it is Black History Month and I wanted to shout out um, a a cool podcast um, that I think you guys would be interested in. It's called the Y'all Ain't Easy Podcast. Um, again, it's Y'all Ain't Easy Podcast. Okay. Um, what I can do is I could I could um, forward you guys the information. I can send it to you via email, and I will be posting it soon to my social channel so you can see um, the guys behind this specific show. This is a black podcast and they are doing a great job um, talking about different things and different uh, issues that go on in our society. So I just wanted to shout out a uh, uh, that black podcast. And if you are a black podcaster and you want uh, for Brother D show to give you a quick shout out, feel free to send me an email or reach me on my social media channels. This it has been another edition of the show and I hope that this show has... Uh, motivated motivated you excuse me and push you to into greatness have a great one